In this video, I will show you how to automate documents like invoices, packing slips, and much more using NoLoco and Docs Automator. Check it out. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Zach Stevenson. I'm a business process and no code consultant. If you need help streamlining or automating any of your business processes, you can visit our, our website, innerdevsolutions.com, or you can click the link in the description below to book a free consult. This tool is Docs Automator. It is the tool that generates and creates the actual PDF. It uses and integrates with Google Docs. So that is where you're going to build your template to get started. And then from there, we're going to jump into No Loco. No Loco, I've created a few videos on this in the past. And very recently, actually, I have shown how to build an inventory management system with Smart Suite Data and No Loco as the interface. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the no loco tool that we've previously built and we're going to add an action button to it that once it's clicked it's going to grab the information from that record and create an invoice pdf for us first thing you need to do if you don't have an account already you can create one there's a link in the description below to get started for docs automator and with docs automator the first thing that you can do is go into here and click new automation I'm going to rename the automation. It's just create invoice from the loco. I'm just going to label it demo. Best practice to get started is to turn on this preview mode. And then from here, you can simply go in and click no loco. So there's a playground template. And this is a great starting point. It will allow you to use a template that Docs Automator created for you just simply to get the automation and workflow working. However, I already have a demo invoice. This is it here. I'm just going to quickly add it to this section. Section two is set your Google Doc template. I'm just going to go in and select this demo invoice. Once I've added it, it will show up here and I can carry on. So I can save a Google Doc to my Google Drive account if I want to. I'm just going to leave that turned off as I don't really need to for this demo. And then as you can see here, it's pulled in all of the variables for us. If I select this demo invoice, we can see that I have a few standard variables, which is customer name, customer email, and the total cost. What's going to happen is within Smart Suite, I have my sales order here. So I've got my customer name, email, and it's rolling up the total cost of all of the related line items. That's where that information will be placed. And then I have my line items and this is more dynamic. So I could have one line item or I could have a hundred line items and it will need to populate accordingly. The way that I have this set up is I'm going to display the product, the quantity, the unit price, and the total for that specific line item. And this is how you set it up right here. If I flip back to Docs Automator, we can see here's line items one which it's automatically found the first table here for me. And I've got product, unit price, total, quantity, and I have a currency symbol. You could probably turn this off or just add it in directly in line here, which I'm going to do. I'm going to flip back and click refresh here. And you can see the currency symbol will disappear. I'm just going to use this dollar sign for all of them. There's a lot of other functionality here as well. We can group by a certain field we can display and hide if you click into the settings you can delete a line row when empty show conditionally hide conditionally style all those types of things i'm just going to keep it pretty simple for now here's a couple of other settings pdf expiration i'm just going to leave it as immediate within five minutes image options good that's fine i'm not going to add a image here and there is an action after document generation. We can save the PDF in Google Drive if you want for a backup or something along those lines. Again, I don't need to take up my Google Drive space. I'm going to leave that off because what we're going to do once we hit that action button in No Loco, it is going to create the PDF for us and it's going to add it back to this invoice field here, which is just a file and images field. So that's all you really have to do within Docs Automator. Create your template and connect it to the automation here. Now we can navigate over to NoLoco. I'm just going to click into this sales order here. Once I clicked into a specific sales order, 
This is the information that we are going to use within the automation. Again, customer email, customer name, and total cost. And then here's the line items. When I click the button, which is going to be create invoice on this record, it's going to pass in those three fields. And then it's also going to bring in two line items because I have two within this record here or within the sales or first thing I want to do is go over to the workflows. I'll click the workflow. We'll create a workflow and I want to create it based off of a sales order. I'm going to select the trigger and I'm going to do on demand triggered by an action button. I'm going to back it up a little bit here. The sales order workflow. This is the name of the workflow or the automation, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to label this create invoice from docs automator and we can add our first action. So the trigger, once the button's clicked, the first action, we are going to scroll down to the bottom of the list and click generate a document with docs automator. And it's going to bring in our list of automations. I only have one turned on right now. So I can click the create invoice from no loco and it's going to find all of the related fields, customer name. I'm just going to pull that in from the trigger. I can just go customer name, customer email, and it's really simple to map all of these fields. Here's total cost. And then here's the line items. This is going to be found from the trigger source and the link to the sales order items. I can select that. And now it's showing me the fields that exist within my Google Doc. The first one's going to be the product. I'm going to use the product name here, and I might have to click into this link to inventory product, select this and go down to product name. Now I can go quantity, unit price, and the total item total. You can sort the line items if you want, and we can add the name of the file. I'm just going to pass in the sales order ID. I can hit done. So that's step one that's been completed. Now when the button create invoice is selected, it's going to trigger this action. It's going to create the document with Docs Automator. But if we end it here, the document is just created and we're not really doing anything with it. The next thing we need to do is go to add an action. We can go to update a record and we're going to choose the sales order collection. The record ID is going to be the one coming from the trigger source. We'll add in the ID here and the field that we are going to update is this invoice attachment field. And then we can use the step one, which is create a document. We're just going to pass in the docs automator file. I hit done. I can turn on this workflow now. Now this part set up, I can go back into the app. I can scroll down to the action buttons. So I'm going to hit add, go into the edit button here. I'm going to label this create invoice. If you want, you can change the appearance. I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm going to use the one click method. I do want a notification, leave it as success. And I'll just label this invoice created. Now we need to connect the action to a workflow hit the plus icon here, scroll down to run an on-demand workflow, this record and the workflow we're going to choose. I only have one set up, but based on the name, create invoice from Docs Automator, I will hit done. And one more step before we create this, scroll down to the details here, select that, move it up a couple of lines. I'm going to add this to the top, bring in the invoice field, click the edit button, we can leave it as thumbnail. That's fine. Default, no worries there. And then enable editing in line. This way we can delete an invoice or add an invoice manually if there was an issue with the automation or just so you have some flexibility to be able to add and remove invoices manually. So from here now, I can go down to hit done and I'm in preview or test mode. We can see that this create invoice button is live. Here's my invoices section. If I hit plus, I can actually add in an invoice manually if I want. And then I just want to make sure I have the automation that we set up in preview mode and it's active. Everything was set up correctly. I should be able to go in here and click create invoice 
and the invoice should get generated and added to this field. As you can see here, within a few seconds, there was an attachment added to this field. If I click into Smart Suite, so this is the link database side, and go across, I can see that it is actually added within Smart Suite as well. If I click back into NoLoco, click on this invoice template, or the generated invoice rather, you can see that based off of my template that I created in Google Docs, it dynamically inserted this information. So we got our customer name, email, it added our two different line items with the quantity and unit price and the total cost. This native integration between Docs Automator and No Logo has made it really easy for us to be able to generate highly customized documents and invoices and anything else that you really need to create in a PDF format. That's it for this tutorial. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get more tutorials in the future.